There are days when you tell the mind to stay with the breath and it's not going to stay. It's got other issues. That's why the Buddha has you look at the mind and then figure out whether it has too much energy or too little energy. If it has too much energy, it's thinking about all kinds of things. Too little energy, it just can't muster its forces to stay with anything for any length of time. So gain a sense of what the problem is and then apply the solution. In other words, if the mind has lots of energy to think, give it something else to think about. Something that would be calming, something that will remind it why it should be meditating. You can think of the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. Remember that we live in a world where someone has gained awakening. Apparently there are lots of aeons where nobody's gained awakening and people are just groping around. You look at the West before Buddhism came. People groping around, getting involved in all the issues that the Buddha said were a waste of time. So we're lucky now that we have the Buddhist teachings available. And you ask yourself what those teachings imply for your life. What kind of light do they cast on the issues of the day? Think in these ways until the issues of the day seem small and insignificant. And then it's going to be a lot easier to settle down and stay with the breath. Or you could try goodwill for all beings. Think of how many beings there are out there and how so many beings are suffering. And a lot of that suffering serves no purpose at all. And you reflect back on all the times in your own life when you've been suffering that served no purpose at all. And you ask yourself, how much longer do you want to do that? Just think of that vision the Buddha had in the second watch of the night. Beings dying and being reborn in line with the karma, and just going around and around and around, arriving nowhere at all. As soon as you arrive, you have to, you have to leave. You get in a good place, and you have to leave. You get in a bad place, and for some reason those seem to be stuck longer. And it's not just you, it's all beings. Think in this way until the issues of the day seem small. If you want to think, then you can think about the breath. On the other hand, if you don't have much energy, try to think in ways that give you more energy. Get up, walk around. In other words, look at your mind and realize that you don't have only one tool in your toolbox for the times when the mind is not working. You analyze the problem and then you pull out the right tool. In this way you become a real craftsperson for your mind.